Hello everyone, this is Kathy Jo from My Little Teapot, and I'm here today to share a technique that uh, you can use for creating a coffee or a tea background on a uh, card using two of the new stamp sets from Quiet Fire Design. I used the uh, tea or coffee ring from the Tea Set 7 stamp set. And then also the uh, quote from the but first coffee set of eight. So coffee and friends are the perfect blend. Uh, for the card, I I also used the Stress uh, tea dye ink, archival ink in black. That's for the quote and uh, mermaid markers by Jane Davenport. And I used the color reef. Before I show too much of anything here, I just wanted to uh, do a little suggestion that underneath your mat, um, I, I like to do this, I like to keep a stamp foam underneath my mat, so this way when I'm stamping um, a detailed item such as the, uh, such as the quote, that it still makes a nice, um, a nice uh, print, and it, it the uh, stamp foam helps keep it even. So to create the background, I started with the uh, tea or the coffee ring, and I applied the marker into the, uh, into the stamp. It's very difficult to do this through the camera, so. Just kind of turned, just get a different uh, view of that uh, ring there. There we go. And instead of letting that dry, um, what you can do is uh, press your tea dye pad onto your mat. A little bit of water and spritz it. And then just roll it through. I like sopping up as much as I can. And it's okay to do. Uh, Pat and lift because it leaves a really cool texture. Now, the last time I did this, I had um, I had an extra piece of the watercolor paper available, and I I did uh, two of these backgrounds. So this is my third time trying to do this video. My tablet keeps uh, dying on me uh, just after I get to this point. So hopefully it doesn't do it again this time. You can also do is take some water, just kind of flick it on,
It's really cool with the little water splotches on it. Kind of looks like my paper I had underneath my teacup this morning. It's a messy morning. Yeah, so that's a little background. And next we want to stamp the coffin friends. I usually do this part in my little mini uh, Misty. But I uh, didn't have a lot of room on my table to do that. Gotta place it about there. This is when it's very handy to have that mat underneath there. Isn't that cool? Love the way it just pops there. Now you can see on my original card, I have more white. Which one I like better. They're both very cool. And on this I also used the Nouveau Crystal Drops. Little clear drops and I just kind of randomly placed that um, after I adhered it to the card front. Just kind of randomly placed it on the background and I also placed some in the corners. And what I also did I applied tape there, 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 and just up there. I, I made sure to keep this area clear so that if I wanted to add a gift card, I could do that. So it's a cute little Coffee and Friends uh, card. You can give it to a friend uh, on their birthday or just, uh, just, uh, just because you're your friend and you want to spend some coffee time with them. It's a perfect excuse and it's a, it's a fun little project. Um, I think you always know that when you leave your craft room and you look down and you see ink on your fingers, that it was a really good day in the craft room. So thank you for stopping by. I really hoped you enjoyed uh, this little technique video. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to, uh, to leave a comment on the bottom of uh, this post. And, um, or uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, on the... Uh, video comment section. So thank you for stopping by and have a happy crafty day. Bye.